Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to find the sine of 105 degrees. I know that you can put this in on your calculator. I'm okay with that. I know you could get sine of 105 and you get some decimal answer. We want to be able to find the exact answer. Okay? Uh, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, there's a lot of different ways we can do this. Sine of 105. In fact, we learned in the last lesson that we could have done something like this. We could have said 105 degrees is the same thing as 60 plus 45, right? And so we could have known, we know the sine and the cosine of 60, and we know the sine and the cosine of 45 degrees. We could find this answer using the sum and difference formulas. But we're going to talk about how to find it a different way. That would be using the half angle formulas. Okay? So this is just a, a second way to do the exact same problem. You see, what I know is this. I have a half angle formula, and I know that 105 degrees is half of 210 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite it using this, and I'm going to say u is 210 as I go through this, right? Because it's the sine of 210 divided by 2. So that's my first step, is to recognize that it's half of an angle that I can work with. I know that 210 is an angle that I can work with, because really, if I drew this off here to the side, 210 degrees is really a 30, 60, 90 triangle down in the third quadrant, right? So I got 1, square root of 3, 2. And I know that this is negative and this is negative, right? So I'm going to use this information. Now, we see here, as we go through, that the sine of my angle depends on the quadrant, right? The plus or minus depends on the quadrant. Well, remember, in the end, I'm doing sine of 105 degrees. And so as I go through, in the very end of this problem, sine of 105 degrees, this angle here is in quadrant 2. And because of all students take classes, students is positive, right? That means the sine is going to be a positive value, so that means I'm going to use the positive square root whenever I get done. Okay, we have to relate this back to the beginning. So, what I know is this. The sine of 210 degrees over 2 is equal to the positive square root of 1 minus the cosine of 210 degrees all over 2. Now, that being said, I look over at the triangle that I drew for 210 degrees, which is right down here in the third quadrant. I know that the cosine is negative square root of 3 over 2. So I have the square 1 minus the negative square root of 3 over 2, and that is over 2. Almost done. Now I just need to simplify this. Of course, that's a double negative there. And since this is over 2, I'm going to call this 2 halves for just a second, okay? So I'm going to replace this with 2 halves in my mind because that's going to make this easier for me to combine into one fraction, right? 2 halves. And in fact, you know what? I'll just go ahead and do this. Let's just switch those both to positive signs. This is a double negative. So I end up with, then, the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3 all over 2. That's the top of the fraction. That whole thing is divided by 2 and the bottom of the fraction, right? 2 halves plus the square root of 3 halves. Right there, 2 on the bottom. Now, last step. Uh, instead of dividing by 2, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to multiply by 1 half. So I'm going to forget this. I'm going to say, you know what, that's times 1 half instead. And I end up with the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3 all over 4. Well, there's no reason. Now, see, that here's the problem. This here, because the plus sign is considered to be one chunk of stuff, I can't do anything with that. I can't take the square root of that and know what it is. So I'm going to have to leave that inside the square root. But the bottom here, the square root of 4, see, I know that. There's no reason to say the square root of 4 on the bottom of a fraction. And it's being divided by something, not added or subtracted to something, right? So I'm going to reduce this by calling it the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3. Unfortunately, that has to stay together. It has to stay inside it. But on the bottom outside of the square root, so I'm going to write the fraction bar pretty big, I put square root of 4, which is 2. And that's my solution. That's actually the sine of 105 degrees. Now you can go check it on your calculator if you want to, and you'll get some funky decimal. And you can type in 2 plus the square root of 3, take the square root of that answer, and then divide that answer by 2, and you're going to get the exact same decimal. Okay, let's go look over here. Ready? Cosine of pi over 8. Well, okay, I could do this a number of different ways. But what I know is that's the cosine of pi over 4 divided by 2, right? That's half of a fourth. And pi over 4, well, that's convenient because that's really 45 degrees. So really in our head, 
we're thinking cosine of 45 degrees divided by 2, right? So in other words, pi over 8, that must be uh, 22 and a half degrees. 22 and a half degrees is what pi over 8 is. Okay, with that in mind, the cosine of a half angle, now look at this, uh, let's see, pi over 8, 22 degrees, that's first quadrant. And you know what? It's going to be positive, isn't it? It's going to be positive because it's in quad 1. So I'm going to keep that in mind as I go through this formula. It turns out that the formula is almost exactly the same as the sine one, except it's 1 plus cosine u over 2. So the cosine of half of 45 degrees, the cosine of 22.5 degrees, is the square root of 1 plus the cosine of 45 degrees all over 2. Well, if you know your 45 degree angle triangles, you know the cosine is 1 over the square root of 2. So I'm going to rewrite this. That's 1 plus, and you know what? Instead of writing it 1 over the square root of 2, I'm going to write square root of 2 over 2. That whole thing is over 2. Everything is inside of the square root so far. Now I need to take this and simplify it. So the top, let's see, I'm going to call this for just a second, I'm going to call this 2 halves again. That way I can make this really simple to add together. That's 2 halves plus the square root of 2 halves. That would be 2 plus the square root of 2 all over 2 for the numerator. And then I got a big fraction bar and I got a 2 on the bottom. And I need to make sure everything's inside the square root. Now, instead of dividing by 2, by this big 2, I'm going to multiply by 1 half. So get rid of that. Let's talk multiplying by 1 half. It turns out that I have, then, the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 all over 4. And for the same reasons as last time, this plus sign means i got to consider that to be one chunk. So I can't do anything with it. But the 4, I can do something with because it's not added or subtracted to anything. So I'm going to call it my final answer. Uh, I need a little square root sign. 2 plus the square root of 2. That's all inside it. There's my numerator. And then instead of over the square root of 4, I'm going to say it's over 2. And that is outside the square root. So I need to make the fraction bar bigger than the square root. And that's how we can use the, the half angle formula to find the exact value of something. Now, of course, if you check this on your calculator, if you typed in the cosine of pi over 8 and you were in radians mode when you did it, on your calculator, it would tell you that the answer was, um, see, I had this written down here. You see it? It's 0.923879. Dot, 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 dot. It, it keeps on going. It's not a nice, neat number. Same way, if you plug in 2 plus the square root of 2, hit enter. Take the square root of the answer, hit enter. Now you've got the numerator. Divide that answer by 2, hit enter. And you're going to find out that this here, equals 0.923879. In other words, it's very simple to check these problems on your calculator to know if you've got the correct value. But it's going to involve square roots, and it's going to be messy, and it's going to take you working with fractions. Don't be nervous about it. Just get it done.